Hello. In this video, we learn how to write a program uh, for creating linked list in C++. So our linked list will be an object of a class linked list. Initially, when there is no node in the linked list, the object looks like this. There will be only one pointer called as first. Initially, the first point will be null. When there is no node in the linked list, let's say this L is an object of class linked list. <coughs> Sorry. So there is no node in the linked list initially. That's why this first pointer is null. As we add nodes to this linked list, the linked list will look like this. First, we'll point to this node. Then we'll have subsequent nodes. That's how our linked list will look like as we add a more node for this linked list. But initially, the first pointer will be null. So let's create a class which will uh, which will have such kind of objects. So these nodes can be created by using a structure. So to create this object, we need a class linked list. But to create these nodes, we need we can have a structure. So let's write a structure definition first, which will require in order to create such nodes. So let me write complete program with uh, uh, starting with header files. So first header file which I'll need to include is iostream dot h. Conio.h So these are the error files which I will require. Now the structure which I'll require to create this node is like this struct node inside the structure if we see there are two things if I draw a structure here it will look like this there are two things here in this first part of the structure we store data and in the second part of the structure we store address of the next node right that means here I can have data as complex as I want but for simplicity we'll have only integer value here and here this is a pointer which will be pointing to the next node Right, or which will be storing address of the next node in the linked list. So two things are there are two things here. First is int data, and second thing is a pointer here. Right? The type of the pointer is the node node type pointer that is struct node. Struct node star next. node star next right. so so that's the structure which I require now let's write a class definition uh, for creating such kind of objects right link list object so class class let's say ll link list inside this class if you see there is in data part I have only one uh, thing that is this pointer first right so this link list will be added later dynamically by demanding memory dynamically but initially I'll have only uh, only this first pointer right so the type of pointer which I have inside this class is stuck first struct node star first right <clears throat> and of, um, by default this will be a private field so we'll write the functions which I'll require in public 
part of this class. The first function which I require is let's say a constructor. So this constructor will initialize this first to null as soon as this object is created. So this constructor, I want, I want to write a constructor which will initialize this uh, first to null as soon as this, as soon as the object of this class L are created. So let's write that constructor here. <clears throat> so name of the constructor is same as name of the class. So LL, I simply want to set first to null as soon as this object is uh, object of the class ll is created <coughs> there are two we'll be writing only two functions first function is to create this linked list and second function is to print this linked list so let's write uh, let's declare those functions here and we'll write the definitions of those function outside of this uh, class the first function is create the return type of create will be void create will define that function outside of this class and then the other function which will write is to print the link list print right. so these are the functions which will write at the class definition end so the idea is I'll create the object of this class LL and when the object gets created the object will look like this let's say l is the object of this class which i'll create inside main function which we'll write later so l the first pointer will be null when i create this object l like this i'll create it l l l so this is how i'll create the object inside main or i can create it anywhere so this l is an object of this class ll type as soon as this L gets created, this default constructor gets invoked on this object and it set this first to null. Right. Then later, I'll invoke this function create on this object L by saying L dot create. Right. So this create function will create the linked list inside uh, this L and the, uh, the first node of this linked list will be pointed by this first pointer. Right. So to print this linked list, I'll call L dot print that's why that's how I'm going to use this to create and uh, print functions so let's write the uh, definition of create function <coughs> so here is my create function so a return type of the create function is wide wide a uh, name of the class is ll scope resolution operator and name of the function is create so inside this create function I'll need some variables uh, one of them is a pointer stuck node type pointer I'll require to create this linked list I'll take help of this pointer p then I'll need some integer variables int n comma i right. now i'll ask the user how many nodes are there in the link list see out how many nodes user will enter some number that number i'm going to store in n there are n nodes in the link list which user want to have then I'll create the first node of the linked list by demanding memory. Initially, <coughs> when the object is created, there is no node in the linked list. The linked list, uh, let me at the same time write this. So when the object gets created, let's say L is the object. So when the object gets created first, it will be pointing to null. That is, there is no node in the linked list. <coughs> and we don't have any node to store data but you don't want to have n nodes so now i'll create the first node by demanding memory right, dynamically and the uh, the, uh, the memory will be of node type and I'll, uh, I'll assign the address of that node to this first pointer right what i'm going to do now is i'm going to have a node here and i'll assign the address of this node to this first pointer right 
So I will create the first node by saying first equal to new node. Right. With this statement first equal to new node, I get memory for this node. Right. So that is how we demand memory dynamically, dynamically in C++ by using new operator. The memory address is assigned to this pointer first. Now the first node is ready. I will ask the user to enter data for first node. See this node has two parts. One is this data part and another is this pointer part which will point to the next node of the linked list. Right? So let us ask the user to enter data for this for this first node. So see out enter data for first node. user will enter data and now that data has to go here and name of this field is first arrow data name of this field is data but that is inside a node or structure which is being pointed by this first pointer so in order to access this I need to say first arrow data right so see in here I want to store the data entered by user so see in first arrow data so the data entered by the user will go exactly here now let's say user has entered one so one will go here now there is no node in the linked list so and this next pointer will point to null so i want to set this next pointer to null so first arrow next is equal to null meaning this pointer is pointing nowhere it's pointing to null okay so now <clears throat> first node is first node is created and it's being pointed by the first pointer let's create the subsequent nodes <clears throat> right so now i want to create n nodes remaining n minus 1 nodes so i'm going to use a loop for this for so before using loop i want to use a pointer p which will help me creating the remaining nodes and I want to initialize this pointer p to this first so I want to set p equal to first right. so p is the pointer which we have already declared here so p is pointing where first is pointing first is pointing the first node of the linked list so p is pointing to the first node so now for i assigns to 2 i less than equal to n i plus plus so I am going to write the code for creating node number 2 onwards till n. So that is why this i is starting from 2, it is going till n. Right? So from node number 2 to n, we will create nodes here. So let us demand uh, the memory for second node. Let us create the second node. Let us point, point the second node by this pointer. Right? So what I am going to do here, let me use a uh, bigger picture. Let me show it here. My first <coughs> or here. <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to show it here. Let's see what I'm going to do now. So the first pointer is pointing to the first node, which is already created. P is also here. Now I am going to, this is P, I am going to demand memory for second node or create second node and point that second node by this pointer. Name of this pointer is first arrow next or P arrow next but I will use P in order to create this entire linked list. Now I will not use first, first will remain uh, on the first node, I will not move it, I will move this pointer P or I will use this pointer P in order to create the remaining linked list. So I will say now P I want to I will have this node create I'll create this node by using new operator and assign the address of this node to this pointer. Name of this pointer is P arrow next. So what I will do is P arrow next is equal to new node. And then so let me write this statement. So P arrow next equal to new node. 
So this new node will be created and the address of this new node will be given to this this pointer p arrow next the name of this pointer is p arrow next then i will move this p from here to here right that can be done by saying p equal to p arrow next <clears throat> okay now the second node is ready and i'll ask the user now to enter data for second node or next node c out enter data for next node enter data for next node okay. user is going to enter data and that data has to go here now in the data part of second node and the second node is being pointed by pointer p so name of this field is p arrow data so c in p arrow data Now this pointer has to be set to null because there is no node next there is no next node that's why this pointer will be null. So p arrow next will be null. Okay, so thus second node is created. Now we'll repeat this loop in order to create the remaining nodes. Right? So let's execute this loop one more time. So we'll go up increment i. Has i become equal to n? If not, then we'll enter inside this loop and then we'll create again new node by using this new node. Right? And the address of this new node will be given to this p arrow next p is currently here. So this p next which was null earlier, you get address of this next node. Then we'll move p from here to here right? by saying p equal to p next. Address of this node is inside this p next pointer. So this P will also get the value of P next, which is address of this node. So P is moving from here to here. Then we'll ask the user to enter the data for next node. It's ready. So user will enter the data and that data will go in this part, data part of the next node. Then P next equal to null. Again, we'll go up increment i and if i has not become equal to n, we'll keep on creating new nodes and this is how we create linked list right this is a create function to create linked list so let me show it show you again the entire code for create function if entire code is visible it's good Yes, the, for the first node of the linked list is created outside of this loop here. First node is created outside of this uh, loop. That's why our loop is starting from 2 to n. So first equal to new node, first node is created. Enter data for first node, data enter store, then next point is set to null. Then from second node onwards, we create, uh, uh, we, we create by using this for loop. Right. It's a very simple create function. So now let's write a print function to print this linked list. Again, wide name of the class to which this function belongs to is LL, scope resolution operator, and name of the function is print. So to print to print this linked list, what we'll do is we'll start from first again. We'll take a pointer p, we'll set it to first, and while this p is not null, we'll keep on printing the data inside uh, the node being pointed by p. So again, I'm going to use this pointer p. So start node star p right and i right. if required i don't think i'll require i so let's initialize this p to first p is equal to first right. p is initialized where first is pointing of course the first will be pointing to the first node of the linked list now while 
or let me write the statement for user the statement is like this c out small c of course c out the link list is slash n the link list is as follows then I'll print the link list <coughs> so while this p is not equal to null while the p is pointer p is not equal to null I'll simply print data inside the node being pointed by p so p uh, c out c out p arrow data c out p arrow data and then after printing the data in that particular node i'll move p from that node to next node p equal to p arrow next that's it that that loop will keep on running till p becomes null as soon as p becomes null i'll quit this loop and we'll stop this function here so let's see how it works with here is our code and here is our link list let's say this is our link list so this is object l now when I invoke this print function on this object L by saying L dot print, right, this print function starts executing on this object L and then I set the pointer P to first. So P will be initialized to this first and then this statement will be printed the link list is as follows. Let's say the data here is 10, 20, 30 and 40. Then is P null? P is not null, P is pointing to this node. So we enter inside this loop and we uh, print the data there. Then now I move P from uh, this node to this node, right? So P equal to P next. So P will get the value of P next. P next is this pointer, which is storing address of the next node. So P will get address of the next node. So P will move from here to this node, right? Again, I go up and check, is P null? If P, P is not null, so print enter inside this and print the data there then move p from this node to this node by this statement so p is here and again i go up check is p null p is not null so enter in the loop so and execute the statements print the data there p arrow data and p equal to p next so p is here <coughs> again go up and check is p null p is not null p is pointing to this node enter inside the loop print the data there and go and um, uh, take p to the next node by saying p equal to p next but p next is pointing to null so p will be pointing to null i go up and check is p null yes p is null this time that means the link list link list is over so we'll quit this loop now because this condition becomes false so i come out of this loop and by that time i have printed the entire link list like this okay so that's how you print the link list now let's write the main function which will uh, in which we'll create the object of this link list type and we'll call both the functions on this object so here is our main function wide main or int main if you want to wide main inside main uh, the first thing which I'll do is I'll create object of the class LL type LL L L is the object of class LL type now on this object as soon as I say this object like this will be created in which first pointer is set to null by invoking the constructor on this object L the constructor gets invoked on this object L automatically the default constructor which you wrote then on this object i want to 
call a create function then that create function will get executed on this object and that create function will create the linked list here right i'll say l dot create this create function will get executed on this object will and it will create the linked list here then i want to print the linked list which we have created by using this create function so we can call l dot print right and uh, that's it that's a very simple main function only creating object l uh, and then creating inside creating linked list inside the object by calling create function and then printing that linked list it's a very simple c++ program to create and print the linked list so thank you